Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled, The Earth, Like the Sun, is Dying. Now, as I have detailed in many previous articles, the sun is no longer shining. The sun has lost its corona because it is depleted in the high-energy electrons which allow it to place its atmosphere in plasma arc mode. The corona is the part of the sun's atmosphere which is in plasma arc mode and thus emits light. Without high energy electrons in the sun's atmosphere, there is no corona and no light emission. The electrons became depleted after thousands of years of Planet X system stellar cores, going to the sun, absorbing its electrons and inducing matter creation events or CMEs, which use up the sun's gravitational energy. As the sun's gravitational energy falls, it loses the ability to replenish the lost electrons, as it is through through this gravitational energy that electrons are repelled by the material in the core to the sun's outer layers. And you may look at article 535 entitled The Sun is No Longer Shining, What Has Happened to It for more details. Now these two SDO images, one from 2011 and one from 2017, show how the sun's corona decreased in size over that seven year time span. These images are ever much older than the timestamps would suggest, and so this loss of corona most likely happened a few years before the sun finally went dark. And you may look at article 500 and entitled The Sun is No Longer Shining Review for more details on that. Now the same thing is happening with the Earth. The Earth's high energy electrons are being depleted by the stellar cores that have also been coming into the atmosphere for thousands of years. The Earth has also been provoked into matter creation events that have used up its gravitational energy. This has caused Earth's high energy electrons at the top of the atmosphere to become depleted and has had the effect of reducing the electric potential of the debris that the Earth's atmosphere is now attracting. This debris is surrounded in the clouds which bring water and thus rain to the Earth. Thus the rocks that are coming in are less dense and they are less positively charged and the clouds surrounding them are less dense. This is why the rocks inside the clouds have become easier to see. And here you see some of these rocks. Here's a large one. They are always enveloped in cloud. And this is not likely to be an actual stellar core um, because of this sharp edge there. The stellar cores would be spherical. And here you see some more of what appears to be uh, objects inside the cloud. You can see they have these sharp edges and you don't expect cloud to have these sharp edges. These are obviously solid objects, rocks within the clouds. And this uh, image comes from a, a Secure Team 10 video. And this one comes from a William McNally YouTube video, these two. So, in addition, the clouds are remaining as low gravitational energy water. In other words, they remain in the form of a cloud down to lower altitudes because there are decreasing numbers of electrons for the clouds to absorb higher up in the atmosphere. This has led to the increasing appearance of low altitude clouds and fog. That's what fog is, low altitude clouds, so close to the ground that they're just above the ground. So in other words, water clouds only turn to rain at lower and lower altitudes. Thus the Earth, like the Sun, is losing its outer negative layer and thus becoming positively charged as well as losing its gravitational energy. This means that both the Sun and the Earth are slowly turning into stellar cores. If the process is allowed to proceed by the Creator, eventually the Earth will no longer be able to hold on to its own outer solid layers and they will break up and move outwards into space, creating a debris field around the Earth. 
The same will happen with the sun. Its outer layer is almost likely already cooling and solidifying since the sun has not been shining for at least 21 years. And this surface will eventually break up and turn into a debris field too. You may look at Article 536 entitled, Was the Sun Already Not Shining by 1998? It is likely that the Earth's dying process greatly accelerated once the Sun became severely depleted in electrons. In other words, since it stopped shining. And that was just because more of these objects uh, started coming to the Earth. Now here you see some of the effects of these Planet X objects. And you can see here unprecedented high tide accompanied by rogue waves. This was in France. Uh, huge water spouts um, occur. This one was in Italy. And it's actually the objects, the stellar cores coming into the atmosphere that give rise to these uh, effects like water spouts, tornadoes, hurricanes. And here we see this huge fissure, this um, opened up overnight in Mexico and fissures occur because these objects cause the surface of the ground to break up as they move over them and we get volcanic eruptions and these are due to meta creation events which these objects provoke. The larger ones that come close to the earth provoke the earth into having meta creation events which then gives rise to volcanic eruptions. If the lava cannot exit through a volcano, if the magma cannot exit as lava through a volcano then what happens is you get earthquakes. So earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are related. And here you see um, what we also get when we have too much rain. And this is due to too much uh, Planet X debris moving into a certain region. Too much of it falling as rain at one time and that leads to floods. So Planet X um, is increasingly affecting, affecting our planet and is therefore destroying the planet at an accelerated rate. So in conclusion, the Earth, like the Sun, is turning into a dead celestial object, a stellar core. This process must have been occurring for the past few thousand years, but it has now reached an advanced stage and we may soon see the Earth's surface start to break up even as the volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, rogue waves and tidal surges continue to become ever more severe and cataclysmic. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.